Ukraine became the first country to which Japan provided non-lethal aid. Japan provided $600 million in humanitarian direct support to the Ukrainian budget. Prime Minister of Japan, Fumio Kishida, expressed his concern, saying that today's Europe might tomorrow become East Asia. The long-term goal is no gas from Russia, at least from Putin's regime. Hello and welcome to Ukraine in Flames, a special project by Ukraine Media Center and NGO Euro-Atlantic Course. I'm your host, Maria Romanenko. When Russia started a war against Ukraine in 2014, Japan was the only Asian country to have imposed sanctions on Russia. When Russia carried out an all-out invasion of Ukraine in 2022, Japan introduced anti-Russian sanctions again. And while several other Asian countries show that solidarity with Ukraine since February 24, it is Japan that can truly be considered the biggest Ukraine supporter in the Asian region. Are you interested to find out more? then please continue watching this video and subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss our videos in the future. Japan has been supporting Ukraine with humanitarian, financial and defense aid, as well as in welcoming Ukrainian refugees. For an Asian country with strict rules on defense aid provision and acceptance of refugees, this is an unprecedented level of support. Let's hear the professor of Kobe Gakuin University and president of the Japanese Association of Ukrainian Studies, Okabe Yoshihika, talk about the support in more detail and how this has impacted the relationship between Japan and Russia. Japan has been the only state in Asian region and the keep continuous sanctions against Russia since 2014. Not only sanctions, but also Japan has provided Ukraine with $1.87 billion since 2014. I'm sure that Japan is the strongest supporting country to Ukraine in Asia. During this war, the Japan Japanese government imposes every kind of sanction against Russia. For example, uh, freezing the assets of over 500 Russian individuals, including not only President Putin, high officials of the Russian government, Russian business oligarchs, but also President Putin's daughters and the wife of Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov. Uh, after beginning the aggression of the Russian Federation on Ukraine on 24th February, many Japanese policies has been changed only by support to Ukraine. One symbolic issue is Japanese military support to Ukraine. Japan has traditionally maintained one of the strictest armament exporting policy in the world. So, uh, Japanese defense companies were restricted not only exporting, but also even uh, donating military equipment to other countries. But, Japanese government amended its guideline for supplying Ukraine with military aid. For such kind of atmosphere, Japan was designated an unfriendly nation by Russian government. On May 4th, Russia's foreign ministry announced sanctions against uh, uh, 63 Japanese officials, journalists, and professors for engaging in what it called unacceptable rhetoric against Moscow. 63 public figures would be banned from entering the territory of Russian Federation for an indefinite period. I'm also on the list, number 62, among 63 public figures. The other problem between Japan and Russia is about the energy. Unfortunately, Japan has no some mineral resources, so we have to import from other countries, and we have imported about 10% air energy gas from Russia. Now, we have many debates about this issue, but the long-term goal is no gas from Russia, at least from Putin's regime. Japanese people have also shown strongest support for accepting Ukrainian refugees. Not only Japanese government, but also local government and NGOs providing supports, including their life expenses. Around 2,000 Ukrainians has arrived in Japan by this September. I believe the friendship between Japan and Ukraine has no limits. And also, I believe Ukraine can absolutely win against Russia. Ukrainian expert on East Asia Natalia Butyrska has elaborated further on how Japan constantly bends its rules and laws to ensure continuing strong support for Ukraine. Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida 
repeatedly raised the issue of counting Russian aggression among his Asia partners and tried to convince some of them to support Ukraine. For example, during his visit to India and meeting with Prime Minister Modi. Tokyo takes part in international efforts aimed to counter Russian aggression in Ukraine. Historically, Japan has not used sanctions very actively in its foreign policy. However, this time Japan imposed in an unprecedented level of sanctions against Russia and continues to impose them in response to Moscow's wrongdoings. Japan supports all financial and economic restrictions applied by the Group of Seven and also introduces a number of its own sanctions against the legal and physical persons of the Russian Federation. Putin's family and representatives of the inner circle of the Russian president were even included in the sanctions list. Among the vulnerable steps for the Russian military industry, it should be admitted the ban of the export of dual-purpose goods from Japan, such as semiconductors, communication equipment, sensors, radars, and etc. A ban was also imposed on the export of oil processing equipment and other equipment used in the development of the industrial and energy sector of the Russian Federation. Separately, Japan imposed sanctions and froze the assets of Belarusian banks and companies, as well as the assets of President Lukashenko and his inner circle. As for the support of Ukraine, the Japanese government shows its willingness to change the previously established rules and regulations. Many of Japan's steps have been made for the first time or as an exception. Ukraine became the first country to which Japan provided non lethal aid. Bulletproof vest, steel helmets, winter clothing, tents, binoculars, lighting equipment, etc. Ukrainian refugees receive special assistance in Japan. Until now, Japan was considered the country with the most restrictive measures for refugees. The Ukrainian ambassador to Japan, Serhii Krasunsky, spoke about the help that the Asian country is providing to Ukraine's medical and emergency services, as well as its future reconstruction. Japan provided uh, support to our uh, emergency services, like firefighters. Uh, they supplied thousands of full equipment for firefighters to effectively fight fires uh, when they happen after uh, shelling Ukrainian cities from Russia with missiles and bombs. We sent 13 airplanes full of different kinds of equipment, medical supply, ready-to-eat food, medical equipment for hospitals in eastern Ukraine, which treats Ukrainian soldiers and Ukrainian children wounded by Russian forces. Japan is playing a crucial role in international financial institutions like International Monetary Fund, World Bank, EBRD and other bodies uh, through uh, uh, negotiations uh, within the framework of Paris Club of Creditors. Japan played extremely important role to uh, waive uh, Ukrainian duties over this uh, Club of Creditors. As well, Japan provided $600 million in humanitarian direct support to the Ukrainian budget. Uh, it is very important that Japan supports Ukraine because in Asia, uh, Japan uh, is considered as a very important power uh, and this power competes definitely with power of other countries like China, which uh, uh, provides almost zero support to Ukraine. Many countries, they pay attention to the position of Japan. And uh, it is a paramount importance that Japan continues uh, to support Ukraine. We believe that 
uh, Japan fully understands its responsibility as a future G7 uh, chair uh, beginning from 1st January of 2023. Particularly, we will pay attention to working with Japan in preventing nuclear terrorism on Russian side because uh, Russia threatens Ukraine with mis uh, nuclear weapons attack. They threaten Ukraine with destruction of nuclear power plants, specifically in Zaporizhia. Uh, they still have plans to attack Chernobyl and use the Ukrainska uh, nuclear power plant. Those would be disasters of epic scale. We cannot allow this. There are only two countries in the world, Ukraine and Japan, which plays uh, uh, extremely important uh, position in international community because of our experience in Chernobyl and uh, Japanese experience in Fukushima. Japan is very sensitive to nuclear threats because of Hiroshima and Nagasaki experience. We work closely with Japan and other partners in providing uh, Ukraine with financial resources for future reconstruction. That's our middle term goal, that Japan is one of the biggest in the world contributor of official development assistance and investor in different sectors of economy and technologically savvy country uh, to uh, work with other uh, potential donors, specifically with the United States, Great Britain, Germany, France, Italy, Poland, and other countries of the European Union to set up a fund which will be used for reconstruction of Ukraine, to rebuild infrastructure, to renew normal activities in our cities. Finally, the senior consultant at the Kyiv-based National Institute for Strategic Studies, Alina Hrysenko, has explained the history of the dispute between Japan and Russia over the Kuril Islands, a group of islands that were illegally annexed by the Soviet Union after World War II, and why she believes that the relationship between Russia and Japan has entered an ice age. Prime Minister of Japan, Fumio Kishida, expressed his concern, saying that today's Europe might tomorrow become East Asia, meaning that uh, resembling conflict and resembling crisis might happen in East Asia or in the Pacific. A lot of Japanese companies announced its intention to of partial or complete cessation of its activities on the Russian market, mainly the representative of the automotive industry. Prime Minister Fumio Kishida has already pledged uh, some about $200 uh, billion, dollars, million dollars in, in human, humanitarian aid to Ukraine, as well as $100 million in soft loans. The reaction of Japanese citizens was uh, also remarkable because Japanese are normally quite apolitical, but regarding the Russian-Ukrainian war, they showed uh, their interest uh, in this crisis as well as support for Ukraine. Due to Japan's quite rough anti-Russian stance, uh, the bilateral relations between Russia and Japan have clearly worsened, uh, and one might say that ice age has become, begun between the two countries. Uh, the Russian Federation has included Japan in uh, a list of so-called unfriendly countries, while Japan uh, proclaimed Russia a threat to Japanese national security in Japan's Blue Book of Diplomacy this, uh, this spring. Because there is a territorial dispute between Russia and Japan over uh, the Kuril Islands, uh, but an anti-Russian uh, position of Japan uh, eliminates the already vague prospect of concluding a peace agreement between the two countries concerning the islands. Uh, in March, the Russian foreign ministry issued a statement uh, which proclaimed that Russia is now refusing from any negotiations with Japan on the Kuril Islands and uh, Russia refuses of concluding a peace agreement between the two countries. A tough anti-Russian stance should first confirm Japan's uh, reputation as an advocate for liberal values such as democracy, human rights and market economy. And secondly, to demonstrate that Japan is ready to actively perform on the international arena on its own choosing which side of the conflict to join. Japan now will more confidently follow uh, the path of um, regaining a status of, uh, let's say, normal country with a full-fledged army. So that suggests 
performing the self uh, self defense forces on Japan, and some of the processes are already underway. Uh, in order to significantly strengthen the country's defense capability, in particular, defense spending have been uh, have been risen by the Japanese government. But it's important to say that for Japan, the current crisis um, and the precedent of uh, Russia's invading Ukraine is not so much about Ukraine and Europe, but about China and the Indo-Pacific. By demonstrating a tougher stance on Russia, Tokyo is signaling to China that any attempt uh, to expand Chinese influence in the region by force uh, will not go unanswered, and especially within the context of Taiwan. So this demonstrates a clear willingness uh, of Japan to establish itself as a global state capable of responding to existing crises. You've been watching the special project by Ukraine Media Center and Euro-Atlantic course dedicated to the Russian-Ukrainian war, Ukraine in Flames. In the description under this video, you can find information on how you can help Ukraine fight Russian aggression. If you find our work useful, then please subscribe to this channel, like and share this video. Glory to Ukraine!